In the game To The Moon, there's one moment which makes me tear up every single time. River and Johnny are sat as children on a log, and as they gaze out towards the stars, uh, they discuss what those stars might be. Now, call me soppy, but I do think the idea that all the stars in the sky are actually individual lighthouses is, is really nice, isn't it? And it got me thinking, how could I incorporate this idea into my film idea, Big Mountain? In a previous episode of this series, I was talking about the different locations that my character's gonna travel through as he ventures up this huge mountain in this fantasy world. I came up with this rocky area where the floor suddenly just drops off into a big vista of clouds. And I actually did draw a nighttime version of this as well. So I thought this is exactly the kind of place that hot air balloons or airships might need a sky lighthouse to guide themselves through. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and draw how I'm imagining this in my head and I'll explain it as I go. Okay, here I go. So after crossing the rope bridges we see in this picture, my party of characters will meet a weatherman whose weather balloon is broken. The weatherman will tell them of a huge shadow that knocked him out of the sky. Consequently, his balloon ripped and his ballast went missing. While the weatherman fixes the balloon, the main characters agree to search for the ballast by scanning the area from above using a small foldable biplane, which would usually attach to the side of the balloon. After setting out, they aren't having much luck as it's very cloudy. However, they enjoy the sights of small cloud beta fish skipping past them through the air. As they fly, they pass what seems to be a derelict old lighthouse, standing on a small floating island. A little while later, the main character spots a rift in the clouds ahead, and from it surfaces a huge sky whale with ballast tangled around its tail. The party goes through a whole action scene where they attempt to remove the ballast from the whale's tail, all without being swiped out of the sky. Once the ballast is removed, the whale calms down and thanks them with a myriad of whale noises, before disappearing into the clouds once again. The party begin heading back, but by this time, the sky has become a sunset pink, and is slowly getting darker and darker. As they return, they pass by the lighthouse again, which to their surprise, flickers on. Then, as they turn to see what it may be signalling, the sky begins to fill with tiny little lights, spreading across the horizon and up into the sky. So obviously the idea is that all the lighthouses are signalling each other. I think these pieces went surprisingly well. The biplane looks a bit janky in places, so I'm going to have to come up with a more consistent design at some point. Uh, but for now it'll do. Let me know what you think of this idea in the comments below. I'd be interested to see if people think this works within the context of the film. But there you go, those are the drawings that I did this time. Hopefully people like them. So yeah, that's the idea. If you haven't played To The Moon, I, I played it for the first time about a month ago and I've played it through two times since. So it's a very good game. It actually only takes about three hours to play through, so um, it's a pretty quick one. Uh, I got it on Nintendo Switch, but I think you can get it on Steam as well if, if you're more of a PC master race. It's a cute game, I definitely recommend it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode. I'm very weighed down with university work at the moment, I'm very busy, so just be a little bit patient with me in terms of uh, uploading sort of more gaming stuff. I'm working on more like Spore and, and other stuff, so don't worry. Anyway, my name's Jude. Uh, this is goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from this guy as well. <laughs> Wait, I'll put him on my shoulder.